Right, so really the last issue that uh, causes me problems on the bench is this little uh, microscope with uh, LCD screen. I mean it's perfectly okay but I'm forever dragging it onto the mat and moving this around as I'm working on boards and things like that. I mean, it's absolutely fine but it's just there should be a better solution. Now what I've found is uh, on eBay a um, actually, let me grab this mains cable back in there uh, 190 pounds a microscope on a on an arm um, so you it will bolt to the desk somewhere and you can just swing it in and out of uh, position as required so um, interesting story with that I had a delivery turn up uh, last week and they'd sent me six glass slides that you would put under a microscope you know, like you might have done with a sample at school that sort of thing uh, so I had to start a claim through eBay uh, for the uh, you know difference uh, not receiving the correct item and uh, then the guy said yes we'll send out another one um, you know that took a few days to be processed then there was a return a um, uh, another tracking number added uh, to my email from them. Um, well, that was last Tuesday, and by the week, you know, the weekend after the Tuesday, Royal Mail still didn't recognise uh, that tracking number. Uh, well, at least they recognised the tracking number, but they had not received the parcel. Uh, alarm bells started to go off. Then um, the seller had also said, "Don't bother sending the." Uh, item received back um, because it was worthless pretty much and that this was on its way and I thought hmm if he just delays and stalls for another week or so I'm going to miss the returns window that eBay have set and then I could find myself in real trouble and being 190 quid out of pocket so I actually returned uh, the little glass slides that he sent out uh, and they were received at the address I think yesterday uh, or may have been today uh, so if anything had gone wrong with this I can still you know, get my money back so just watch out for that sort of thing this is not a scam in this particular case uh, but it could have been and they could have just stalled long enough for you to real, you know, forget that you're, you've got a certain date to return something by uh, so just, yeah, just want to be wary of. Anyway, this turned up today. I'm hoping everything is in there and is in one piece, and that it will do the job. Like I say, it's really the only sticking point on in my setup now. And it's something that could be improved, hopefully. Okay, some good packaging material. So it looks like we have the first thing is going to be how much do you say? Let's have a look. Okay, so we have a LED ring light with power supply. I suspect I've probably run out of sockets over there already, so that is all good, I think that's adjustable. This is obviously the stand, or the arm, I'm not expecting too much here but I can pivot it round into place. That looks like it's the place that that um, ring light should have sat in. I actually think I've got some other equipment with it, one of these uh, already. Uh, 
very similar. It's probably got a different mount here than the one I've got. It obviously screws in. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that will be fine. So that is that. Don't know what the straps are for. Then we have been sent a silicon work mat, which is interesting because mine is just about at its last repair carried out on it. I think I've got some spares somewhere, but uh, this one might actually do the job. I mean, I prefer. In a plain section here, but by me, if you've got it, might as well uh, use it. We've got two magnetic sections. Bring that camera down. So, yeah, component trays, screws, screw positions. That's quite useful. They're all numbered parts. A couple of magnetic areas. One, two, three. So that is quite useful, but not. Uh, I'm not even sure I was expecting to get that. And then the main bit will be this digital microscope made in China. Obviously, absolutely no other information on the box whatsoever. Packaging is good. It's a Tom Love <laughs> make brand. And it looks like that is quite a good full colour, just English manual. The resolution, mm, yeah, not, uh, not brilliant, but it's just as good as the one I've got, I suspect. Shows different lights on this one. So we have a uh, that's HDMI or a USB cable. A adjustable that's on and off and that looks like brightness so that can be varied by that control we have a, <laughs> a very nasty um, adapter we have another USB lead we've got a, a C to normal USB adapter The screen. Oh, there is a really nasty <laughs> charger. Uh, let's have a look at the voltage on that. Yeah, 5 volt, 2 amps. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'll be trusting that. I suspect we might be able to find a better charger than that one. Uh, oh, phew, yeah, no idea. Oh, it's a. Um, Okay, I don't know what the hell that is. Obviously something for holding slides in place. Uh, it's got a light, is it? Yeah. So, <laughs> those slides that I sent back, that's what this is for. You can put uh, slides on here. There is a diffused light at the bottom with a plug-in power uh, lead there. Yeah. we're interested in is this I suspect very lightweight lens object distance 90 to 300 mil and then that it doesn't actually say what it is as it does it is oh object distance 4 mil to 5 mil so I guess that would be the lens you would use for the slides got a couple of screw thumb screws we have oh more <laughs> more slides actually just like the ones already sent back and then we have a we've got a remote control 
screwdriver, menu, uh, focus, brightness, uh, video, yeah, the usual stuff. And then, what else have we got? Yeah, that is it, apart from this last bit here. Cheers. Oh, I see, that's just the bracket. There's actually a lens. There's already a lens on there. Don't know how the hell this goes together with the stand. Well, there's a lens here with adjustment ring here. And this one is 12 to 320 mil objective distance. Uh, so you probably just loosen those screws and lift that off and then fit the other one and that is the adjustment up and down plus the overall up and down of the stand okay well, I think what we'll do then is we'll have a closer look at that assembled and uh, show you a bit more after it's been assembled right so just back with the microscope um, not a massive fan of the stand but uh, that is the clamp it comes with and uh, it's a bit fragile as you can see I've already bent the uh, little tensioning arm. I've also found that it's got a tendency to try and twist and slide off of, uh, of this uh, workbench that it's on. I think if I was actually going to use this uh, I would probably uh, drill a hole through there, uh, perhaps even cut that off and bolt it on so it uh, can't move. It's got a plastic insert and this little thumb screw to tighten it up but I, yeah, I really haven't found it uh, you know, absolutely uh, ideal. <laughs> Could use it still but um, I've decided to uh, actually get this over on the bench and I've simply drilled a 12 mil hole uh, through the work surface and end inch into the wood that's uh, underneath and uh, that works far better. Now as far as the quality goes, um, I've got an old scrap, uh, what is it, platinum board, tiny little chip just on there and if we go up I have the lens which is, uh, oh I can't read it, but it was something like 300 to 900 mil away and uh, that's the image that we're going to get. I don't suppose I can get rid of the reflections, unfortunately. <laughs> no, probably I can't. But uh, I've got a screen protector still on there. Um, but, you know, excellent uh, quality. And in fact, if you um, do a uh, use the HDMI out, you can uh, go off to a monitor in an even better resolution. Uh, than that uh, but that is absolutely perfect for me and uh, then I can literally just sling it out of the way there uh, so it is not in the way of anything I've still got full view of everything and access to everything so um, yeah putting it through the bench like that is uh, is absolutely fine uh, these uh, nasty US power supplies. I have managed to plug both of them in together on that one uh, socket so I can uh, turn it all on and off uh, from there. Adjustable ring light here which is uh, good on and off and adjustment. I've just cable tied everything onto the arms and uh, yeah that will work out uh, perfectly I think. So uh, much better than my little stand and the workspace, you know, here, the height is perfect. You can obviously bring it further away if you want uh, and then you will just literally adjust the focus uh, here. Like so. Uh, but you can see how much room I've got to work under here, absolutely loads 
so it's much better than the other uh, other little microscope so yeah there we go um, I think for the money it's probably pretty good all sorts of options with the menu you can video you can take photos uh, you can adjust I can zoom in and out of the uh, of this image obviously you lose a little bit of the resolution as you zoom in and out I don't even know where the remote control is for it let's have a look So there's the remote and uh, we've got a little, uh, yeah, so you can adjust the brightness or well, exposure value is what's being changed. You can see the exposure value at the top there and that will brighten up back to zero. Uh, then we can zoom in, in stages. I mean, it introduces a little bit of noise, but you know, it's pretty blooming good. I can see the noise, but I mean, it's perfectly usable. You wouldn't be worrying too much about that. And that is maximum zoom. Um, doesn't oh yeah, times times three is that yeah, and then back out. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, the menu. There we go. There's all sorts of things to adjust resolution, and that is the output resolution. And you can see that it will go uh, up to 2880 by 2160, so 4K pretty much um, at 24 frames a second. Uh, obviously, that is not this screen. It is uh, what's going out. On the HDMI uh, system, let's just change that to something else. I'm pretty certain it's not this. Yeah, no, it doesn't uh, change at all. So if you've got a bigger screen monitor that you want to use alongside this, or instead of this screen, yeah, you can just use that uh, that much higher resolution. Uh, freeze, yeah. So if you just wanted to freeze that picture, you can do. Uh, so yeah, all sorts. Date stamp, yeah, we can turn that on and set the uh, set the time, etc. And all of these things I am not likely to use. I will be working with this live, but uh, you never know. Anyway, I'm pretty pleased with that for 190 quid. Uh, it's going to work fine in my situation. So uh, yeah, job done.